Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. We are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, for those of you uh, who may have been wondering what's been going on, guys, I have been sick, and I am finally over that. I do have a little bit of a lingering cough uh, now, and again, hopefully you guys won't hear that in the recordings, but if you do, I do go ahead and uh, apologize for that ahead of time. But you guys have been wanting to see more Terratech, and I've been wanting to give it to you because I have missed playing this game. Although, to be honest, even when I've been sick, I have been playing this game, and that's what we're going to be checking out here, actually, is some of the stuff that I have uh, been doing in the R&D test chamber. Now, we're going to go ahead and load some of the text that we have. You can see that uh, the the pumpkin that I was trying to build, eh, I, you know, I, I didn't quite build it the way I wanted to, but before we get into that, we're going to go into uh, something that one of our viewers actually asked that uh, I go ahead and build for him. And it's uh, the Spongebob house. It's uh, this one right here. We're going to go into that. I, you know, I've watched the, the show before, obviously. I didn't know Spongebob. I did have to look it up, though. I did have to look this up online just to make sure that I had everything the way it was supposed to be. Now, this is Spongebob's house. Uh, it's the pineapple as close to it as I could possibly get for all intents and purposes. Uh, you can see the little smokestack on top. There's a, a little window over here. Actually, there's two little windows on the side right here. And I did try to close it off so you wouldn't be able to see inside. Although, I kind of want it around the windows, if you see right around the cracks. I wanted those to be able to be seen inside. Mainly for the, the idea that if they ever add into the test chamber, the ability to... Uh, to go to uh, the nighttime schedule, I should say, guys. Uh, I want the the objects that I make to be able to show light in some way. Because what I'm thinking is, the, uh, the idea I had while I was building this is, how cool would it be to kind of customize your maps? Like, obviously, they have it in there, in the coding, that you can uh, have certain bots spawn on the map as you get to a certain size. What would it take for them i don't know to put it in there where you could say well when it spawns to a certain size instead of putting in the default one that you guys have put into the game what if maybe uh we go with something a little different like uh this bot right here or another bot and you could have like maybe a halloween you know map where all like pumpkins spawn and skulls or whatever kind of vehicles that you've uh created in there to uh, give you that that illusion and you know for this one I was like what if it was just all like uh, buildings that are in Spongebob or characters from Spongebob like Spongebob himself uh, that would be kind of cool and you know very unique and you'd be able to customize it that way now you can see on the inside I did go ahead and put a battery uh, actually several batteries I put some uh, fuel tanks in there and I put some thrusters as well just to kind of give it that little boost now uh, normally you would have this closed off and you wouldn't see you know this big gaping hole in the back but I wanted to show you guys exactly what was going on there and as you can see right here here's the uh, the door and then you got a window to the right and another window up here to the left and the little smokestack and then I went ahead and put the uh, you know the the whatever you want to call it, the foliage that goes up here on the top, the green part of the pineapple. But I changed it a little bit. I, I did uh, two different colors, so it didn't just look like a giant mass of uh, green in the same sense. You can actually kind of see it as, you know, separate pieces of the leaf coming out to the top. And, then, you know, the pictures I've seen, they were very much like this, where it was just uh, right down the center. It didn't go out in a three-dimensional kind of area where these leaves went forward and backwards at the same time as going side to side it was all just going side to side so if i'm wrong on that or if you guys notice any details that i've done with my game here that uh, don't really quite fit definitely let me know that and i'll come back in here and change it i am going to be posting these to uh, my twitter page at some point down the road but uh, for now it's not i haven't done that just yet so like i said hopefully they will integrate the ability to like download people's uh you know, uh, save files or Twitter files or whatever that uh, that file is and to be able to integrate it into your own game and be able to see buildings like this from uh, other YouTubers or things that you created in the past and all sorts of really, really cool stuff. Now, I am going to uh, drive this around. You can see there is the uh, the big boy wheels from the, the GeoCore in there to give it uh, a little bit of mobility because otherwise, no other wheel is really going to be able to handle this weight. It's not like a whole bunch, but... It is uh, straight up quite a bit, and uh, that's that's going to be pretty uh, crazy. Now, it doesn't have any weapons on it, so it'd be a pretty useless bot to have on your map as an enemy, but you could definitely throw some weapons on here and still try to keep 
the look of it. I was thinking maybe like you could take the windows out and put some weapons in there. Uh, maybe you could take the doorways out and just put the weapons in there and make it look a little different than you normally would have. But, you know, it definitely would make it uh, a little bit more uh, dangerous. So you can see it doesn't really move the uh, the quickest in the world. It's, it's a building. It's not. Uh, it does turn. You can see the wheels underneath uh, are turning right there. I actually do have separate wheels there. So if you look, I have the big boy wheels in the in the middle and in the front and the back i have the uh the smaller wheels which will allow for a little bit of lift right there the geocore rugged wheels a little bit of turn i should say not lift so you can see they're they're because they're smaller they have a little bit more room in there to kind of maneuver and it really makes things a little bit easier i did kind of uh, mess around with them going over the ramps and things of that sort to be honest this is not yeah i don't think it would do too well on the ramps but we'll check it out and I'm going to use my little speed boost so you guys can see what would happen. If we have to, we'll, we'll just load back into this uh, because it is saved. So let's go ahead and do our speed boost right here. Get up there. Come on. No, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Okay, so not too horrible. Not too horrible. I think it did destroy a couple of blocks. Yeah, right there in the front, especially when it does a little speed boost. It kind of hits uh, full force on the front side. You guys can see right here when it goes up the ramp boom right there and if you're doing the speed boost uh, no that's not the button we want to push we want to push that and it goes down flat so yeah not too bad i i think it uh, is a lot better than the last time i looked at it actually because when i went up those ramps it was very wonky and uh kind of uh, fell down face forward but since i put all these pieces in here all these fuel tanks and the batteries and you know the thrusters and things of that sort i think it's evened out the weight quite a bit so that it's not as uh, as unbalanced as it used to be now something like this definitely does not uh really lend itself to getting up like that and of course it's very top heavy as well so if we hit the thrusters maybe yeah there we go and then it's going to come down and just tip over yeah i kind of knew that was going to happen but you know again not the greatest design for getting around obstacles but you can't tell me that if you're a SpongeBob fan and you're, you know, going around on your map and you saw something like this just coming at you that you wouldn't, uh, you know, kind of grin to yourself and be like, oh my, you know, like really, really somebody designed the, the pineapple, you know, and you guys asked for it. So I went ahead and created it for you while I was sick and, uh, you know, it gave me something to do, it gave me something to concentrate on. And, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate all the ideas that you guys have been giving me because uh, they are very, very cool. Let's see if we can go over these things. I know I'm going to going over them. Uh, oh, no, we're going to lose a tire. Oh, man, we lost a wheel. That's going to make things very, very difficult to get around, but not too bad, actually. Now, there is one thing I do want to show you guys real quick. Let me go back into Restart R&D. We're going to load up our techs. There are a few other techs that we're going to be going through uh, in different episodes, but for now, let's go ahead and load this up. It's going to take us back to square one. There is, uh, let's see if I can snag the solar reactor which is right there so we want to put down the solar reactor and we want to grab one of these things and uh, put that on there as well so let me go ahead and grab another one so it can build up a little bit more power a little quicker and it's transferring the power to the inside but it has to it has to build it up because that's a lot of power for the battery packs that are in there so it's, it's going to take a second so we're definitely going to put down a few of these and then a few of these as well so it can power up a little faster now i went ahead and put down the repair bubble rather than the shield bubble because the repair bubble just looked more natural it was green instead of blue it's not exactly completely center now that i'm looking at it from this angle it needs to go over maybe one more to the right on the inside but it is at the right height i believe to kind of give it that look now obviously spongebob didn't have a bubble around him but I believe the character's name is Sandy. She's the squirrel, if I'm if I'm familiar with it enough to uh, to say that. I may be completely wrong on that one. You guys will have to let me know. But uh, I believe she does live because she's a squirrel in kind of a bubble little area. So when I got the idea to kind of throw that in there and see if this worked, I think I could probably make hers as well. Although making the inside while still keeping it uh, very much see through. The only thing I can think of is the shield. Like the shield could be the invisible wall like she has for her glass bubble. And then 
you know, make this stuff on the inside. Again, it would be very weak in battle, but kind of cool to see it like laying around. Or as I said before, if they ever change it so that you can have a a base of your own or a map of your own with bases of your own design, maybe have it instead of this being a building or I mean a, a vehicle, make it a building. Like you know, they have the enemy bases that spawn that fall, that uh, come from the you know the sky and land on the map somewhere. And the enemies kind of rotate and uh, gravitate, I should say, around those buildings just like you do with yours. Maybe you could do the same thing. And you could create, like, the entire uh, Bikini Bottom, you know, city and, you know, make that, uh, you know, make that happen in some way. I don't know. I don't know if that would ever be a thing. But, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I kind of liked it. Because, you know, you may not be a SpongeBob fan, but maybe you're a Transformers fan. Or maybe you're a, a Halo fan or, you know, whatever it is that you're into... I bet you more than anything, with your creativity, you could create an entire village or entire, you know, uh, mod pack based around that. And, you know, I definitely enjoy that when it comes to, like, games like Minecraft. Like, the, the community that has built, like, the mod packs has really taken that game a lot further than I believe the game would have been able to be taken uh, by itself. Because they have put so much effort and so much love and care into those those mod packs and other people have embraced them. And because of that, people have gotten, you know, countless more hours out of a game that they may have otherwise burned out on a lot sooner without all the massive content that's just always available because of all the uh, the people creating stuff, you know, and it's kind of open source in that regard. I don't know if this game will ever go down that path, but it definitely does lend itself to be a viable option if it does. And, you know, like I said, they definitely listen to what you have to say as players, as... Uh, you know, viewers and things of that sort. So if you do like any of these ideas or if you have ideas of your own, I would highly suggest you guys go out onto the forums, go and watch them on Twitter, leave those comments, contact them directly and let them know, you know, what you think of the game, what you uh, want to see in the future and, you know, of all the ideas they have. Just don't get too angry if they don't uh, if they don't do it because they have a vision of their own, obviously, and, uh, you know, they got to listen to their vision and, and go with what they feel in the end is going to best suit the uh, play style that they're going for. Yeah, these these things uh, have torn up our wills every single time we've gone over them. I'm not quite sure why. And even with the repair bubble activated, it is still destroying the will. So it takes a fair bit of damage going over that. And it's always the same will, I think, too. So there might be something to that one little tiny corner that uh, it's a little bit heavier than the other ones. You can kind of see it tilting down at an angle in there. And that could just be the the placement of some of the items that I have inside there. In fact, if I zoom in from underneath, you can see uh, kind of a little bit more of what we got going on here. And yeah, it could come down a little bit more with that battery pack so that it's uh, right over that area. But it can't, like it already feels like it's too heavy in that one side. So maybe... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you would balance that out because to be honest, it's not exactly even on there for for the batteries in the first place. And that was more of an afterthought than something uh, that I kind of planned out. So if I went back and redesigned it, I think what I would do is build the inside up at the same time I'm building the outside walls. I just didn't know what I was going to do with the inside. I thought I was going to leave it hollow. It was more of an afterthought that I was like, oh, you know what? I should put wheels on this thing uh, to start with. And two... Maybe I should throw, you know, battery packs in there and uh, I saw how slow it was and I'm like, you know, boosters would definitely be something nice to throw in there as well. And, you know, I just started kind of going from there and there's some other things that I threw in there as well. I think there's a uh, a gyro, gyroscope or gyro, whatever that thing is, Majigi, you know, that, that allows it to maintain its uh, equilibrium a little bit more than normal. Uh, on most of these other like flying vehicles and things of that sort. Uh, you could definitely throw in, you know, a... Uh, what do they call those, the uh, the speedometer or whatever it's called that uh, measures how fast you're going and, you know, all sorts of little goodies. In fact, if you wanted to, and you could integrate this into the game, like I said before, it'd be cool to throw something in the inside as like a, like a gift, a little package. Maybe fill this thing up with the fuel tanks like I did, and if you happen to be able to destroy the, the centerpiece, you know, the, the main cab, and not destroy the entire bot... Maybe you get something special. 
Maybe that's the gift. Maybe it's a a present in disguise, you know, to find this. You know, it's a rare thing that kind of spawns and you get something really cool from it. Almost like if you had designed a, a Christmas package, you know, and that might be something we try actually during Christmas time. Uh, we will, I think I probably will do that. I'll design several different ones of different colors with like the ribbons and everything on top of it and put something cool in the inside, maybe like a toy truck and then just design the package around that or something like that. And like I said, if they could integrate those in there, I really, really kind of like that idea the more I thought about it. And the more I'm thinking about it now, gets me excited because then you could have like a Christmas themed world with snow globes. You know, snow globes, again, would really lend itself because this almost looks like a snow globe uh, in its own right. You know, if it had a base all the way around the, the, the bottom of the center, you know, then you could really start to look like it actually was a snow globe rather than, uh, you know, just something kind of sitting in an orb how it is right now. But you could have snow globes going around fighting each other and they could be pretty much anything because anybody who's ever seen a snow globe knows they make all kinds. You could put skulls in there. You could put, you know, pictures uh, or scenes from, uh, you know, like princesses stuff or uh, from a vacation in Hawaii. Like they make them all different sorts. And they even have weapons in here that launch fireworks and if you could somehow design those fireworks to go up in just a just the right height the fireworks would actually pop while they're in here and it would look like the confetti that you sometimes see in snow globes so i think it's really you know going to be a cool thing to kind of experiment with that and see if we can do that uh, effectively and you know actually get that going that's going to be an idea down the road but for now guys i think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here and i know we didn't really get to show you too much but I'm going to keep these uh, these episodes kind of short and just show you some of the stuff that I designed uh, while I was kind of ill and didn't really have the opportunity to make videos for you. But as soon as we're done with, uh, I think it's going to be two or three of these uh, these videos that I'll be making, as soon as we're done with that, we're going to be going into the actual game now because they have made a few new updates here and there. And I want to see if they changed it because the last time we played the game, it was uh, it was very difficult. They had a lot of mobs spawning on the map, so much so that it bogged the computer down uh, to the extent that it really kind of decided for me to uh, to stop. You know, like the, the, it went to the the furthest progression we could go and be like, no, it's just going to be so laggy that there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So. I'm hoping that they've kind of dialed that down just a tad bit. I don't want to dial down too much. I like the challenge. Definitely like having more mobs on the map. I I just don't want it to be so extreme that the computer just like, no, I'm, I'm done. You know, like it quit on me, basically. Uh, and it's definitely heavier on one side. You can see it totally leaning further on one side than the other. We definitely have to look at that. But as always, guys, I'm AC Gamer, and I definitely want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.